Welcome back. Ever wished you could crack the code to trading success? If yes, then buckle up because today's book summary is about to take you deep inside the playbooks of Wall Street's magicians themselves. Jack Schwager's Market Wizards isn't your typical dry finance book. This is a thrilling ride through the strategies of the real money makers, the ones who consistently crush the markets while others fumble around in the dark. Are you ready to learn the secrets of the masters? Then hit that subscribe button and dive into the world of Market Wizards with me. Let's start from Chapter 1. The journey begins. Schwager opens the book by introducing the concept of a market wizard someone who has achieved extraordinary success in trading. He emphasizes that while these individuals come from diverse backgrounds and employ different strategies, they share certain common traits such as discipline, adaptability, and a willingness to learn from their mistakes. To illustrate this point, Schwager presents the story of Michael Marcus, who turned a $30,000 trading account into $80 million over a period of 10 years. Marcus attributes his success to a combination of technical analysis, risk management, and psychological discipline. Chapter 2. Finding Your Edge One of the central themes of Market Wizards is the importance of finding and exploiting your edge in the market. Schweiger argues that successful traders are able to identify unique opportunities or inefficiencies that others overlook. For example, Bruce Kovner, who started with a modest trading account and went on to become one of the richest people in the world, specialized in trading trends in the foreign exchange markets. By focusing on a niche that suited his strengths and preferences, Kovner was able to achieve outsized returns. Chapter 3. The Psychology of Trading Trading is as much a psychological game as it is a financial one, and Schwager devotes considerable attention to this aspect in Market Wizards. He emphasizes the importance of maintaining emotional discipline and avoiding common cognitive biases that can lead to costly mistakes. For instance, Paul Tudor Jones, known for his macro trading strategies, highlights the significance of controlling one's emotions in the face of market volatility. By mastering the psychological aspects of trading, Jones was able to consistently outperform the market. Chapter 4. Risk Management No discussion of trading would be complete without addressing the critical importance of risk management. Schwager stresses that successful traders prioritize the preservation of capital above all else and employ various techniques to manage risk effectively. For instance, Ed Sekota, a pioneer of trend-following trading systems, advocates for the use of stop-loss orders to limit potential losses. By implementing a robust risk management framework, Sekota was able to navigate turbulent market conditions and achieve long-term success. Chapter 5 Developing a winning strategy. While there is no one-size-fits-all approach to trading, Market Wizards showcases a diverse range of strategies employed by successful traders. From fundamental analysis to technical indicators to quantitative models, Schwager explores the various methodologies that have proven effective in the hands of skilled practitioners. For example, Richard Dennis and William Eckhart, known for their turtle trading experiment, developed a systematic trend-following strategy that generated exceptional returns over time. By rigorously testing and refining their approach, Dennis and Eckhart were able to achieve consistent profits in diverse market conditions. Chapter 6. Adapting to Change the financial markets are constantly evolving and successful traders must adapt their strategies accordingly. Schwager emphasizes the importance of flexibility and continuous learning in staying ahead of the curve. For instance, Jim Rogers, a legendary investor and co-founder of the Quantum Fund, discusses the need to embrace new technologies and market dynamics to remain competitive. By constantly seeking out new opportunities and adapting to changing conditions, Rogers was able to sustain his success over the long term. Chapter 7. Learning from Failure Failure is an inevitable part of trading, but what sets successful traders apart is their ability to learn from their mistakes and persevere in the face of adversity. Schwager shares stories of traders who experienced significant setbacks but ultimately emerged stronger and wiser as a result. For example, Marty Schwartz, known as the pit bull for his aggressive trading style, recounts his journey from bankruptcy to multi-million dollar success. By analyzing his failures and adjusting his approach, Schwartz was able to rebound and achieve even greater heights in his trading career. Chapter 8. The Importance of Discipline 
Discipline is perhaps the most essential trait of a successful trader, and Schwager highlights its significance throughout Market Wizards. Whether it's sticking to a trading plan, adhering to risk management rules, or resisting the urge to chase after losses, disciplined behavior is key to long-term success in the markets. For example, Dr. Van K. Tharp, a renowned trading psychologist, emphasizes the need for self-awareness and self-control in achieving consistent results. By cultivating discipline and mindfulness in his trading approach, Tharp was able to overcome common psychological pitfalls and achieve his financial goals. Chapter 9. Building Wealth Ultimately, the goal of trading is to build wealth over time, and Market Wizards offers valuable insights into how successful traders approach this objective. Schwager discusses the importance of setting realistic goals, managing expectations, and staying focused on the long term. For example, Jack D. Schwager himself shares his personal journey from a novice trader to a successful author and fund manager. By applying the lessons learned from his interviews with Market Wizards, Schwager was able to achieve his financial goals and build a fulfilling career in the financial markets. That was all from the core of book, but is it enough for successful trading? So for this, we have some experts' reviews of top entrepreneurs on this book. Let's see what they says about it. Number one, Mark Cuban, entrepreneur investor, says, Market Wizards is a fascinating peek inside the minds of those who consistently beat the market. It's a valuable read for any entrepreneur seeking an edge in a competitive world. Number two, Richard Branson, Virgin Group founder, says, Schwager's interviews with these market wizards highlight the importance of calculated risk-taking and adaptability, lessons applicable to any business leader navigating a dynamic marketplace. Number three, Mary Barra, General Motors CEO, says, Market Wizards offers valuable insights into discipline and emotional control. These are crucial qualities for leaders navigating complex business landscapes and making strategic decisions. Number four, Indra Nooyi, former PepsiCo CEO says, Beyond the trading strategies, Market Wizards emphasizes the importance of a strong mental framework. This resonates with any leader building a resilient and successful organization. After looking into these reviews of famous CEOs, you can decide by yourself that this book is worthy or not. That was all for today. Give your opinions in comments. And if you like our content, then please subscribe our channel because it motivates us for making more good videos for positive impact on society. Thank you.